Hello to the good honey beard. Friday, 26 November 2021. After the last training exercise where I give the bees the liquid sugar syrup here with some cane juice and I give them the pollen substitute. Let's take a look and see if that training exercise was successful. See, I have quite a bit of empty frames, empty boxes over there to clean out. And uh, yes, man, check that out. We have bees coming in here, packed with pollen. So that exercise was very good, at least now they are strong enough to go out there and bring in the natural pollen, so I wouldn't have to feed them any more of that substitute. See how they're coming in? Okay, and on the ground, I'm not seeing any, any dead bees. So let's hope it, it continues like this. Once it continues like this, I'll be able to rejuvenate this apron here. Let's see what's happening with this colony here, if it's the same set of pollen coming in. Now that I'm down here at this, this level, the fragrance that's coming out from the inside there, it has a little moldy tinge to it. So pretty soon these colonies will be able to remedy that. Yes, and I've seen different colors coming in. Light and a little darker yellow in the pollen. So they're having a good source for this time of the year. All right, thanks so much for that one. This is the weakest one out of the tree. Let's see what is happening here. Oh yes. <laughs> okay, so I'll just need to, to back off a little bit so that they'll be able to come in with the with their honey. And in this case, right now, they're coming in with quite a bit of pollen, which I'm happy for. And um, I know for sure that they have enough nectar reserves in there. And with this pollen now, they'll be able to build even better brood. All right. So, folks... Don't forget, like, share, give me a thumbs up, ring the bell icon. For those who haven't subscribed before, now is a good time to do it. We are approaching the end of the month, November 2021. And the soap vine is in full bloom. Although I haven't seen any soap vine in my immediate location here right now i'll be looking forward to 
seeing what these bees will be able to do with this um, soap vine which is the crop that we yeah the soap vine crop is what what I use for my bee development see how did this colony come in with so much pollen yes man so I was able to trigger them off into doing this and um, just in the nick of time yep so they're looking happy some coming in with heavy belly that means they have a little nectar at this hour the morning it's just um 7 30 a.m and if they could come in with this amount of pollen this is exactly what I've been looking for. So I'll no longer need to feed them on the outside with pollen substitute or um, syrup. What I'll probably do is um, if, an, if I feed them at all, it will be on the inside. Let me, let me just take a look here and see if I could give you a little view of what I have here on the inside okay see that's what I have here on the inside that's just the solid sugar and we have a few bees uh, tending to it and right now you can see down inside here maybe you should let me just put a little light on this. Right. They're looking active, eh? Yeah, man. They're doing well. So that's what I'm talking about right here. Right. So, let's say by the end of this month, these colonies should be at a point where they have more field bees going out and uh, we'll be able to monitor them closer and see you know how best we can speed them up see the same thing is happening here all that black stuff there's some propolis I just uh, put inside here so this is how I do my thing right here at a good honeybee yard beautiful Caribbean island Trinidad. as per usual I'm Hans T. Yemen and this is another good bees video This, this colony in particular is a little weaker than the others and I could get that little smell of the sort of moldy coal kind of smell so they need to um, develop a little better a little more to do keep their colony warm and nice and toasty the temperature today is going to reach like 31 degrees Celsius so everything in a timing all right folks it's a pleasant good morning to you all and you know the the motto is to stay healthy so you could do be keeping tomorrow Okay, this is just a little, a little um, morning video for you all to see, you know, the progress and the development of um, my tree, tree colony apri. 
I will need to make some more videos for you all in the coming weeks and so. So stay tuned. Goodies to come. All right, later. Yeah, man. Right here at the Good Honey Bee Yard. It was only about three days ago. I finished the training exercise with the bees. What I mean by that is I will training them to go out, get back out there to gather the pollen and the, the nectar and of course, you know, to see if they could turn that into something useful for themselves as well as me. So I'm here this morning and it seems like most of them have already gone out. So I want to take a little peek inside to see what it is they did with all that all that stuff that I gave them, which is the substitute pollen, the the liquid syrup with cane juice in it. And um, let me just put down this camera here and come back to you in a, in a second. Okay, so here we are. Um, today is the 29th of November. 2021 and it's 10 a.m. and the today we have in a nice open open sky the temperature could reach up to 33 no 32 degrees right now it's 30 degrees Celsius and um, wind speed is like 14 kilometers an hour and uh, we're having a nice day today, man. So, look, we have a little birdie there, boy. What? The birdie come to greet me? <laughs> yeah, that's a little house bird. I don't know if you saw it. It was right on the ground. Sometimes you get some nice little surprises when you're doing beekeeping, you know. So you have to keep alert. Most of them, you don't get to put it on, on film. But whenever you get a chance, you get some nice, some nice little um, distractions. Okay, back to it. So the training exercise, I hope it proved to be successful. Um, it seems like I'll be getting into a period here of no, no dead bees on the ground, which is nice. And I see butterflies going all over, the white ones, the yellow ones, all different kinds. So let me... Um, don't ramble on too much. Let's get down in this box here and see what we can find. I'm hoping for the best. Give them a little second or two to get themselves organized. So you wouldn't scare them now. And right away I can see that in this colony here, we have a nice, a nice bit of bees here taking care of the inside. They're eating up the solid sugar as best as they can and we have to keep them going like that because we need to have all these bees back up to production strength the soup pine is in full bloom and let's get going with that eh? all right.
Well, first of all, I can see that they putting in fresh propolis, which is a good sign that they are developing nicely. And you see where the cluster is here. That's where the brood nest is. And uh, there isn't any queen on the inner cover. You see what I'm talking about? That is how you could know when the bees develop in you. Let's take a look here at this arm, um, this propolis. New, new propolis coming up. And they're sealing it. They're sealing the colony nice. And you notice how they, how they work in there. They're doing the top of the frame and so on. So we try our best not to disturb them too much. But at the same time, we need to find out, get some more information. So, let me put you sit down here for a little bit. And um, you could watch me from there. seem to be displaying a nice bit of calmness here right now I'll be taking out frames from the right side because usually I would tend to my bees from the, the back so this is frame number eight Let's see what frame number eight has to offer. Okay, so we have a bit of we have a bit of um seal honey there. See that on both sides. Right, so let's continue. I want to, um, I don't know if I could get the light here, here man. let me see if I get some more light here for you. Alright, I hope that will fix it. I was seeing a little, a little glare there just now. Okay. What we call wetting. Wetting is where we will get when they bring in the, the nectar and they start to store it in the cells. You see there how it's shining. All right, that is what we call wetting. So once you see that, you know, well, things are looking up. See it here again? Have the frame upside it down, eh? so you can see it good. This is the this is the frame that I had put in there for the queen to lay in. I took out two of the old frames and I put in this one. So if you notice, they went in here and cleaned it up really, really, really nice, right? So it's just a matter of time now for the queen to start laying in this frame. Here comes my partner. He's over there eating up any dead bees that he can find. Look at him. See him? You get some, some bee or something there. They do a good job, you know. Coming back this way. See how we 
Let's go in the whole area. Anyhow, let's not get distracted here. Eh? Let's get back to business at hand here right here now. This is frame number five. This is the edge of the, the brood nest. And uh, what we have here is we have some lava. See the lava right in the middle there. And the lava looking good. Some like the whole thing is with lava and eggs, boy. I know, get to see when you come in the sunshine, you could see it good, you know. You see this, you see, you see what I'm talking about. So, which means this colony is performing nice. And before anybody get chill, my partner there again. Watching, it's covering the whole surface of the ground, and this, the other side, also have lava. So you, you see what I was talking about? The by putting that frame right there in position six, as the queen move from the left to the right with her laying pattern she'll be able to lay in this in this frame now what i could do to speed that up is to take it from here and put it in position five which is something i think i will do but i will need to examine this frame here first let me see what is happening on this frame Very gently lift it out. Fantabulous man. Look at that. We have a look how it glitter in them. Yeah, so that is that is nice. Same thing on this side. And um, we wouldn't disturb this colony more than that. And look at down inside there. So this queen has started on her lane sequence. Really, really nice. And I can't ask for anything better than that. So in that case, I will definitely move this frame from here, which is empty right now, but it is already polished and prepared. And I'm going to put it in position five, making it easy for the queen come in here and start laying right and very gently I would put back in these other two frames as a matter of fact that is the I'll put I'll put that it as the as the end frames is a little seppy right so those two frames has honey on it. So I will make one frame with honey. Take one frame with honey, right? And put it in the end with the anticipation that the bees would have that honey frame there available, right? And I will shift around all these other frames from the left side, very easy and gently. You see, it's a good thing I had cleaned the box before otherwise I wouldn't have been able to, to slide these all these frame over so easy but before I put it in the end there I will need to examine frame number one which will let me know what is happening with this broodness on this side
so it have honey in it so oh look one some honey gets spilled there a little bit and it have pollen in it right let me look at the other side this frame kind of heavy okay this side have quite a bit of seal honey right so the best thing to do is to make this frame the end frame and I guess that frame number two will even have more pollen on it let's take a little look and see right um I'm operating here without any smoke and without any veil but please don't do this at home only do it in your backyard when your bees are cooperative this this is Africanized bees that I am rearing here and sometimes like now they would cooperate and be very gentle and nice and other times they behave like something in, from a, a nightmare movie in this frame here has just like I said the pollen see any pollen there look at the pollen it doesn't have too much pollen but it have enough to get them going and get them stimulated and have some brood down inside here some lava sorry the other side have the same thing much so therefore I, I am doing a little seppi here now. I'll put back this frame in this position and take this frame here, which I took out before, and it have a lot of empty cells. Right, and I'll put it right here. So what they will do, they'll make this frame now, their pollen frame. Come on all yeah. This frame with the honey on that side it's going on a little stiff. But I'm trying to move it slow so that I wouldn't crush any bees as it settles down in there. Most important, you need to make sure you have your bee space. Right? Only two ends. Right. Okay, so bees. This colony behaved very, very nice. I'm thankful for that. And let me just cover them back up. And this is very, very nice progress. I'm happy with what I'm seeing. And a bee just warning me. See in there? I'm trying to bite me back on my head. All right, I'm going, I'm going. You see what, what bees do? They just give you a little time to do what you have to do, you know. And after that, they would definitely tell you, you know, they're not happy with you staying extra time with the hive open. So, that's my contribution for making this available to you all today um, I will go into the other two colonies there and see what is happening so bear with me as we move along
unlike the first colony we opened um, this colony here is also um, have their broodness over on the left side which is let me make sure of that Yeah, which is where the the uh, entrance is. So I will do the same thing like I did over there with this one. In this case, I'll put your sedan over on this side. All right. Taking out frame number eight, and um, this colony also is doing the same thing where they're bringing in new um, propolis so i would assume that the same the same thing will be happening over here Same set of nectar, and we have brood up here. We have brood on the other side as well. Come and see. You see in the, the lava in there? And you see the you see the pollen? Right. So we're in our gear. same thing like what I did over on the other side. I'm going to move this frame inward closer to the brood and I'll move frame from frame number three over trying to encourage the queen to, to do some more laying. Let me see frame number three See what it have a uh, wind passing here with a little chill in it. So I wouldn't open it, I wouldn't pull up this frame right away. You see. See sometimes it's, it's good to, to dress like this so that when the wind blow and it come on your skin that is sweating, you'll be able to tell the temperature about when you have on a suit and you're that cloaked up, you don't get that, that feel of the, the wind in the air. Blowing again. You can hear the bees. You can hear the bees are they roaring. They, they, don't, they don't like that so much. So all of these things is what you have to be aware of. This wind speed today could be a little bit disturbing. I come in a little more again. Anyhow, I'll tell you what. I know what will be going on down inside here, so I don't need to actually like a, a season now so I will, I'll take the chance you see what I'm talking about watch see what going on in there watch. pollen like that and it also have eggs so that is why I didn't want it to take up the frame let me go and put it back quickly you see the side the same thing side is the same same thing so let me just uh the wind die down which is nice so i'll make this frame frame number three and take this one that is empty because the queen is laying in that area and i will put it in position four
Okay, so that was nice. These are doing a nice job at recovering and they are developing nicely. So it's just a matter of time now for those those brood to, to hatch out and the, the numbers in the colony will increase. I'm trying to adjust your, your viewing. Okay. Let's see the weakest colony. The weakest colony in the set now. Let's see what is happening with them here. What is this that approaches? Oi. I'm seeing two what smart larvae. Let me show you it. These what no more than two, but look at them there. This is one here. See it? And one so we dispatch that one. You just committed a fatal error. There's nothing we can do for you. Dispatch that one, another one. This is what smart larvae. They will develop into a wax mat. Now that the colony will be getting stronger, they will be able to dispatch these wax mat when they find them. So, another one here again. And they were hiding under the, the feeder, you know. This is the feeder here. I'm not seeing any there. They look to go and hide in any little crack and crevice so they could do the, the nonsense when it's time. All right. Okay, this is what I was expecting from the other colonies where the broodness would be in the middle from frame number three. Three, four, five, six, seven. So what we have is um, four, five, six, seven. Right? Where the broodness is. So that is um, four frames. One, two, three, four, four frames. Right? So the other colonies seem to have their own little other pattern going on. And um, we still have a little coolness. You see the little coolness here. This is a sign of the, the coolness. So in our timing when this colony um, get more bees, you see coolness here as well. They will be able to raise the temperature inside here and prevent that from being a bother to them. All right, so this is a good frame. Frame number three. All right, let's look at... No, not frame number three, that frame number seven, no, eight. All right, this is frame number seven. Yes, man, they're working, boy. Yeah, they're taking care of themselves nice. So, all right, frame number six. Oops, be careful, don't tackle them too much. When bees get frightened, they just tend to want to sting, you know. So take it easy. Don't get excited. Right. Look at that. Just look at that. You see how much pollen they have inside here? This whole frame is going to be packed with pollen in a 
short space of time and on this side they have pollen as well and they also have nectar All right so i will make this frame number eight put it as number eight because it has no no larva in there no brood and i can see right away that frame number five is the one where it has most of the action going on yes man that is what i'm talking about in a in a short space of time this frame will have to be removed and carried to the end of the queen right there there she is gently walking across doing her thing okay queensy <laughs> it's nice to have seen you i'm gonna put them back in the same order now just the hive tool just jar them there a little bit so by putting this frame here now in that position right there where the queen is laying will encourage her to come across here and lay right what i want to do is i will have to put that frame in the end anyhow no I'll put it put it back right here because this hive a little weak so I, I don't want to stretch them out too too much more than that so all i need to do is to sit back and wait for that to develop some more and then i will do some more manipulation in all these three colonies right so in a quick time just put them back together So you see what um, what training does to your, your colonies when the bees are weak and they need the little extra assistant and you could give it to them that is the results that you can expect all right I need one more one more block for this one all right so folks, that's my, as a result of my training exercise, I have to clean up all these frames here and then I have to go to the, the other apron and do some more cleaning up on that side. I haven't had the time to, to do it yet, but I definitely will have to make the time now because time is of the essence right now. Yeah, man. So... That was a good day. We did a, a good, a good um, job today. And um, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Or oh, I hope you come and look at the next video. I wouldn't be able to see you, but you will see me. All right, folks. It has been a plum pleasing pleasure, as well as a privilege, making these videos for you. And in all the ups and downs, and we don't know exactly what we might have coming up for us in, in the near future whereas the poisoning and all that is you know what's going on but right now there's no poisoning so the bees are recovering and you see the recovery i'm talking about once these bees can not get poisoned i will be able to make and send you delicious videos. Sometimes you might have belly laughter as well. Anyhow, I'm happy. The bees are looking happy and they're looking pretty good. So, come back again right here at the Good Honey Bee Yard, beautiful Caribbean Isle of Trinidad. I'm Hans T. Yeman. And look at my Good Bees videos. Bye for now, TTFN.
remember these are Africanized bees. Right now they are in the pussycat mode. They're very calm and nice as you see. Do not, I repeat, do not attempt doing this kind of thing with Africanized bees without avail or else. Well, I have to tell you what else. You will find out if you do it. Bye bye. Like, subscribe.